hardly know where we are, let alone what this place is. I, I just want my husband back. I've heard that these wilds are the last place in Detir to find the Fae undisturbed. We were just trying to pass through to the Red Marches when the Lord became ill. We had stopped so he could catch his breath when the Fae came storming out of their ruin. They took him past the barrier to the south, and I haven't seen him since. I'm a seamstress, an excellent one. Lot of good it's doing me right now. Please, my husband needs help. I can't bear to think about what the Fae are doing to him in there. They took him to a ruin beyond that fork in the road. I tried to stop them, but they won't release him until the curse is removed. I have no idea what they're speaking of. Please, help us. Thank you so much. The Fae took him through the narrow pass nearby. me and won't let me leave. I think I'm ill. Please convince them to let me go. This pain is unbearable. This place is as foreign to me as my fey captors. There's nothing here except the lethal wildlife and a scorching sun above. And all the fey we could ever hope to meet. Blasted, I'd leave right now if I could. They keep talking about how I can't leave until I'm free of the Narka affliction. My wife and I were just passing through Ulceron. We lost our way trying to get to the Red Marches when I grew ill. The next thing I know, I have a burning fever and when I stopped to catch my breath, the Fae ambushed us. You saw my wife. Thank goodness she's alright. I bet she'd wait out there for a decade if she had to. I hope I won't be stuck here for that long. Nark, welcome, mortal. I can heal your vessel if you require it. It is my role. This land is in pain. It is afflicted as the Narka are afflicted. I repair the vessels of the Circle when necessary. It is my role. Mindless. They're summer fey. They cannot distinguish fey from foe. They attack all who approach. We know not the cause. Farewell. Beware the wild fey of Ulcer and Wanderer. They will not be kind. Greetings, mortal. Strange. The threads of fate do not entwine your destiny. I read the fates for the Circle. That is my role. We await the return of our champion. The mortal Magnus defeated him, and he has not returned. They are our brethren, but they cannot distinguish Fae from foe. They attack all who approach, and we know not the cause of their malady. Farewell. 
and the sands beget a mortar. Fascinating. Greetings. You are strange. There's something distinctly fey about you. The fey have thrived here for many cycles. Oh, the way the seasons have been flowing. We may not thrive for much longer. They are our brethren, afflicted by the same curse as the Almain Alard. Left untreated, the curse alters the mind and role of the afflicted. We term these brethren Narker, and you'll find them wandering the desert of Alcerund, attacking any that come near. They cannot tell friend from foe. It'll take some time before it's safe to walk the sands without a resolution to this dilemma. Some of our brethren departed, like our champion, Engard. Some went mad and became Narker. Those of us who are left remain for the sake of this land. If it were free of the Narker curse, we would gladly follow after our champion. I direct the Circle of Engard in its duties. My allies and I serve the champion of valor. Not the mortal pretender, but the fey known as Engard. Unfortunately, the champion is no more. Not since his defeat in the arena by mortal hands. The fey champion of valor, Engard, was defeated in battle years ago at the House of Valor by a Varani warrior. In accordance with fey tradition, control of the house passed to that mortal, and the fey were forced to leave. We have confidence that he'll appear in Armalore once again. Every Fey is compelled to perform a function, and reigning as champion was Engard's role. When the champion returns, the circle of Engard will take up arms once again, and our rights of combat will shake the earth. We realize our presence in Detir is rapidly diminishing. If we can re-establish the tradition lost with the House of Valor, perhaps we can still stabilize our presence in this region. Releasing him would be detrimental to Fey and mortal alike. I sense something peculiar about you, though. Perhaps you could help him. He could be healed, we surmise, with the completion of the Rite of Valor. Have you noticed my enraged summer brethren out in the sands? They attack anyone, friend or foe. We of the Circle term it the Narka Affliction. It's a curse magical in nature. The affected cannot be reasoned or bargained with. The Almain fell victim to the curse, and though it has not altered his mind, he complains of pain. He warrants study, and so we keep him. The key is the Cora Petal. The regenerative properties of the petal can cure the Almain. You'll find it on the vessel of the Guardian of the Caverns, the Cora Thresh. The Rite of Valor will awaken the Guardian, which has lain dormant in this long winter. Defeat it, and the petal can be plucked from its vessel. Head to the Caverns of Ingress at the base of the Great Spine. There are three Erathi sigil stones within. They are marked by a waterfall, a pillar, and a tree. Activate them in that order. Each stone will curse you. Once the last stone is activated, a beast of many vines will challenge you in your weakened state. Defeat it, and bring the Cora Petal to us. You must activate three sigil stones within the Caverns of Ingress. They're marked by a waterfall, a pillar, and a tree. Each stone will lay a curse upon your vessel when activated, and summon opponents to face in your weakened state. At the right's end, a beast of many vines will appear to challenge you. Defeating it will permanently remove the curses. Their effects are temporary. The curses will vacate your body if you begin the rite and then leave the caverns of ingress. Exercise caution in Ulcerund, traveler. The sands are unkind to mortals.
I can use the petal to create an elixir for the Almain. He needs only to drink this. If it indeed frees him from the curse, he may leave. 
and I will finally have hope of saving Ulcerund from the Narca. Farewell, mortal. You've returned. Will the Fae allow me to leave? They'll let me go if this works. Fine. I'll drink anything at this point. I... I can feel the curse leaving me. I, I'm not just saying that so I can leave. It, it, it's like a fever's breaking. I should get back to my wife. Thank you again, and farewell. That was impressive. Our success with the Almain bears great portent for Alcerin. If a mortal can be cured, then maybe a fae can as well. I believe that you could survive a journey through the Fellfire Pit. Will you help us with another task? Ulcerund is among the last Fey lands untouched by mortal civilization. But it is not without its difficulties. Some of our brethren have fallen to a curse that renders them feral and frenzied. My brethren and I make up the Circle of Engar. We seek to restore the Fey rites lost when the mortals took the House of Valor. The Circle is holding vigil, waiting for the Champion to return. We wish to repeat our success with the Almain at a much grander scale. To do this, we require the essence of another plant, this time from the Fellfire Pit. The pit is located at the base of the Great Spine of Alcerund. The flower, the Fellfire Bloom, rests there. The only plant that grows in the pit. We know the mortal fondness for compensation and will reward you significantly. Excellent! Then head to the Fellfire Pit, where the Guardian of the Bloom awaits. We have waited long for the champion to return. He waits. This life offers two choices. Fight or die. Those who choose to live face conflict. It is the natural balance of this world. The weeds preclude the flower's bud. The spider's web arrests the fly. The water carves the rock. In the dry waste of Detir, in the land known as Alcerund, the House of Valar became the home of this primal force.
From the Desert Runner's lethal dance to the chaos of the wolf pack, the Fae displayed these contests as art. Engard, the embodiment of contention, arose as champion. His strike was as the mantis leg, a boat amid stillness. He met defeat like the salamander's tail, lost, but only to grow again. He inflicted wounds like the serpent's fang, rotting poison to weaken the mightiest opponent. His baleful stare was the shark's fin above the water's surface, promising a bloody end. The walls of Glyrathwyn came crashing to the ocean's turmoil. Our people, despaired and battle-weary, hiding from the ogre's fists, saw Beala Tyrin atop the revered spire, dressed in priestly garb and circled by a camp of mages. Wise Tyrin called forth the grace of Lyria, her beauteous song, Paragon of the Ethereal. The people climbed to her side, a summit cloister of spell-woven forces. She smote the Jotun from the hallowed pinnacle, and never again did they return. Rathir, she named the place where sharp rocks break the water's surface. This home for all Dokulfar, the lunar crag of Lyria, founded in the fourteenth year after the parting. The Great Ones contested Engard's knowledge, and time and again they failed. The combat space was a patch of dirt which soon became a clearing. The clearing trampled by the feet of warriors sunk into the earth and became an arena where the bravest mortals heard the feral clamors of the combatants. The House of Valor was born.
You do not belong here, mortal. The crown of the sun is a Fey domain. Alserand is the last bastion of the Fey and Detir. One of the few places in these desert lands where we are plentiful. They are summer Fey, but their minds have been altered. They attack any who travel the sands, be they mortal or Fey. I am the guardian of the crown of the sun. I watch over the new Keepers as they meditate in preparation for their time at the crossing. It will be some time yet before I have new charges to Shepherd. I do not wish to speak to you about Fey affairs, mortal. This place is older than your mind can grasp, and it will remain long after you are gone. The withering war swept across the land. Seelie and Unseelie fought each other. The House of Valor was abandoned for the battlefields of Isa and Own. Engard battled hordes as the warriors of Valor thrived on the plains of Arathel. The storm grew as they joined the war, and the Seelie threw back the invaders.
When the armies of Ohm subsided, the Sealy returned to the land, and the House of Valor was forever changed. The conflict of the cycle waned, and the Fae now embodied the peace of sleep. Engard no longer fought, and was without purpose. The great cycle turned through the ages. Seasons passed. A mortal defeated the Champion of Valor. His name was Haroth Magnus. Welcome to the Oasis of Ingress. Where the divine voice of Matharu touches...
Ch Excellent. You have my thanks, child. Now we can use the power of the Fellfire Bloom to begin the removal of this curse from our lands. We will, however, require your services once more to accomplish this. Will you aid us again? Seek an audience with the keepers of the crossing, and then administer the sample of Fellfire Bloom to the heart of this land. With luck, you will free this entire region from the Naka affliction. The restorative properties of the Fellfire Bloom will remove the Naka's affliction from the font of the crossing. The summer fae who live here are tied to the land, and the land in turn is tied to the crossing. You must invoke the Keeper's right in order to reach the crossing. The first step is to challenge Pura at the Crown of the Sun to battle. You need proof that you have bested her to pass through Keralatha. Very well. Defeat Pura, and she will give you the Amulet of the Sun. Take the amulet to the keepers at Keralatha, and they will allow you to pass. At the bottom of Keralatha, you'll find the font of the crossing. Place the sample of Fellfire Bloom atop it. If our theory is correct, your help in this matter will finally free Ulcerund of the Narker affliction. of dust what brings you to the crown of the sun the desert is unkind to mortals florian told you of it they must trust you implicitly it is one of many sources of our worldly power it is an almost limitless source of magical energy closely tied to the essence of alcerund i am the guardian of the crown of the sun it is my role to watch this sacred place and see to the safety of the Keepers in training. They spend hundreds of years here in preparation of their duties. I am tasked with meeting their needs, ensuring they are ready. It will be several hundred years before the replacements for the current Keepers arrive. Florian and the Circle sent you to access the crossing? It is highly unusual for a mortal to invoke a Fey Rite. But your aura is most unlike a mortal's. Very well. Prepare yourself. <laughs> well done. You are a skilled combatant. It's no wonder you've earned the respect of Florian and his circle. The Amulet of the Sun is yours, and with it your right to descend to the crossing.
Welcome to Keralatha, mortal. We have not had visitors in a very long time. What do you seek? The Keepers live to prevent use of the crossing by either Fey Empire. Its power is such that both Summer and Winter Fey have agreed to leave its power unharnessed. Yes, I am Winter Fey and Halsior is Summer Fey. That is the nature of the crossing. A representative from both courts remains here for balance. I always distrusted the Summer Fey, but it is difficult to distrust your only companion. Over the centuries, Halsior and I have grown to rely on one another. It is no accident that Keralatha is a place of great spiritual confluence. The crossing's flow of energy has influenced the landscape, shaped it as the ancients once did. I am quite skilled at sage crafting. It is one of my roles. I will aid you if you require it. It is a nexus of energies, a place where magic flows infinitely. There are few such places on Amalur, and the Keepers are tasked with protecting them. Always Dear Pura has stood vigil at the Circle of the Sun, awaiting the new Keepers to give them direction. It was she who led Halsior and myself to the crossing when we first arrived in Amalur. Halsior is my companion, and a revelation. I never in my lives spoke to a Summer Fey, yet now I see that winter and summer are not so different. To deal with the Narka curse. If Pura has given you the means to pass, then do so. You should seek out Halsior. He will assist you in this. She is the guardian of the Crown of the Sun, and a powerful sorceress. But you have defeated her. It is no wonder Florian and the others of the House of Valor have come to place their trust in you. It is where the replacement keepers go to prepare for their work at the crossing. When it is time for them to assume their posts, they enter into combat with Pura, as you did. If they survive, she brings them here, as she did with us. We Keepers routinely delve into the depths of Keralatha to make minute adjustments to the crossing, ensuring its power remains under control. Find the crossing, and Halsior will undoubtedly be nearby. Take caution in these lands, mortal. Your kind is particularly susceptible.
You should feel privileged. The crossing is not a place of mortal business. You are the first to come this far. That essence of the Fellfire Bloom is meant for the crossing, yes? To cure this region of the Narker curse. I will not allow it. Florian, in all his wisdom, does not see what I see. That the crossing is a solution to this long winter. No Fey Empire has ever risen so. It is not the way of things. I have been using the power of the crossing to gradually tip the balance of magic in favor of the Summer Fey in Ulcerant. But this had unfortunate side effects. The crossing is tied to the magical essence of this land, and so are the Fey of this region. My tampering has driven them to madness. 
It is a necessary corruption. Better for a few of us to be mad than to wait for this long winter to end. Perish. I cannot allow you to interfere further. The Circle of Engard must endure my curse for as long as it takes to end this long winter. Fare you well. <laughs> I see. Alsir's devotion to his king and court was more powerful than our friendship. That he would compromise his own kind to end the long winter is deeply unsettling. Perhaps in the end, he'd become Narka himself. You have my thanks. Please, take these. They are imbued with fey magic, and should aid you wherever you may go. I serve the Unseelie Court. I was chosen to guard the crossing as the Winter representative. To watch over its power during the long winter. The crossing has changed. I can feel it. But whether it undid the damage Halsior inflicted remains to be seen. Return to Florian and report what transpired. Take caution in these lands, mortal. Your kind... Threads of fate do not entwine your destiny. Mortal. If you require healing, I will aid you. Mortal. I can feel a change in the air. The taint of the Naka curse is rapidly dissipating. A shame it was caused by one of the Seelie's own. The Circle and I will take our leave. A small number of Naka will undoubtedly remain. We will reclaim our brethren and defeat what Naka left. Thanks to you, perhaps Alserund will recover from the Naka after all. Farewell, Morton.
Welcome to the Oasis of Ingress. Where the divine voice of Matharu touches Are you here to compete? Looks like everyone's too afraid to sign up for the next match. If the crows find a leader, the tournament can start up again. Where are you from? People of all races come here from all around to participate and watch people fight for their lives. Helga's a regular at the den whenever she's not signed up for a match, so I try to be there when I can. I don't have much to say to gamblers like Jokel, though. Even less when it comes to fate weaving. I don't trust that Franz Engelhardt. I'm here all the time. Where else on Armalor do you safely get to see Jotun take a man's head off? He was an even better fighter than his son. Everyone says if old age hadn't gotten to him, he'd still be champ. Be seeing you then. Thank you. 